So you're thinking about living in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys and in towns like Charlottesville, Virginia. Well, in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons. As a matter of fact, we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the ugly in this video. So hang around to the end so you can find out what those are, but we're going to go ahead and get started right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, and sleeping, and playing here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys, and click on that subscribe button and touch that bell icon so you can be the first to be notified about all the current real estate market information here in Virginia's beautiful mountains and valleys. Hi, my name's Stefan. And I'm Leslie. <laughs> and we get phone calls and emails every day from folks just like you who are looking to sell a home or to buy a home. And as real estate agents, we absolutely love to help those Thank folks you. when they're called. So whether you're looking to make a move in nine days or, or 90, 90 days, sorry, 90 days. He uh, left me out. <laughs> just pick up the phone and give us a call. Shoot us a text, send us an email. That information is all in the description down below. And Leslie, well, we'd be happy to help. We are absolutely <laughs> over thrilled, ecstatic to help you. Okay, don't calm down. Now. Okay. <laughs> so, I let them know I'm super excited to help you. That's right, that's right. So anyway, we mentioned here that we are in Charlottesville, Virginia today, and we're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the ugly here in Charlottesville. So what we've got is we've got a ranking meter, I guess oh we could say. Goodness. One through five. I mean, that's what Google reviews does, right? If you have One seen five. them in the past, you are not going to be disappointed. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go ahead and use this meter if it is one through five to show how good it is. One being the lowest and five being the highest. All right. So with that being said, start? let's start out with something positive. Okay. okay. Let's start out with a pro of Charlottesville. All right. What's that? And I would say that's... One of the things that's all around us, right here, right in the downtown mall, and that is food. Yeah, well, oh. that's one of the things. You're oh, right. Oh, oh, okay. But the first thing we're going to talk about is <laughs> shopping. Thank you, shopping. So, <laughs> yes. You know, Charlottesville is a small town, only about forty-seven thousand people, but there's a lot to do here, uh, and it has both name brand stores and mom Some and pop type stores boutiques. boutiques like you're saying and boutiques yeah and i mean you can find stores like best buy and target and kohl's and whole, whole foods, foods and trader, and trader joe's all of those and then so in this mall right here though there's 120 shops and 30 restaurants right here Stephen walked by a mall and counted <laughs> well i didn't count them all but there's a <laughs> lot here and a lot to do so if you're looking for shopping leslie what would you rate the downtown, uh, not the downtown, excuse me, the entire the small, Charlottesville the neighborhood. Mall. No, oh, the entire, the entire, entire Charlottesville. As far as your ability okay. to shop and find unique things and also name brand things, what would you rate okay. Charlottesville? Well, I'd probably put it at a four. Okay. I agree because, you know, there's what? And you rated it a four because why? Because there's not, I mean, because, I mean, if you're in a larger town, a city, you know, you're going to have a lot more available to you. So that's yep. probably the reason why I would bring it at a four. Yeah, you know, and I mean, some of the main uh, stores that are, you might you might not find some here that are in some of the other bigger, bigger cities. But if you want to live in a large city, a big, big city, Charlottesville is not the place for you yeah. either. Okay, Stefan, so what's next? Why don't you talk to us and tell us all about the restaurants here in Charlottesville? Ooh, we like going out to eat. So, all right. So in Charlottesville, you're going to find a lot of the name brands restaurants. So you're going to find steakhouses like Texas Roadhouse. You're going to find, um, I don't know, what else you're going to find? Outback. Outback. Chipotle. Yeah. Chidoba. All those national name brands you're going to find around Applebee's. here. Applebee's. Uh, McDonald's. He's going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> we Sorry for like McDonald's. <laughs> okay, but the cool part about it is, is that you're going to have a lot of those local restaurants around here. So one of them, or a couple of them, that I can think of that are fine dining are the Ivy Inn and Fleure. There are a couple of really nice fine dining. The Fleure is actually located here in the Char in the Charlottesville Mall area. Um, the downtown mall. In the downtown. In Charlottesville. It, it, I get confused too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I think I'm confused. I'm not confused. He's confused. Anyway, Zocalo is a Latin American uh, local restaurant. The Sultan Kebab is a Turkish type of restaurant. And then Stefan's Moose by the Creek. 
Yeah. Hey, Rocky. Why? Oh. Why do you like Moose by the Creek? I like Moose by. It's just you know what? It's 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 down on the south side of town, right by the interstate. And you drive in there, and you think there's it's really a restaurant here. Yeah, really. But it's just good home comfort food, yes. and it's just a lot of fun. You go in there and get your picture taken with a with a. Uh, uh, moose rack, or, yeah, some antlers on a moose rack there, and put a pin on the map, of, and it's just covered with people from all over the United States and Canada. They people are, that have come they, and visited. They look like a hole in the wall, but they are very, very popular. <laughs> very but yeah, try moose by the creek. So we also have a lot of breweries around here, and Charlottesville actually has a brew trail, or what do we call it, an ale trail mm -hmm. around here. And you can hop on and hop off of it, and it takes you around to the, some some of the ale places around mm -hmm. here. Um, we also are very famous for our wines, and they have a, the Monticello Wine Trail, and you can, again, hop on and hop off of it. So there are actually 40 wineries, can you believe that, within 25 miles of yep. Charlottesville is crazy yeah the monticello wine trail is just an amazing place and then if you run out of wineries over here you can go over in the shenandoah valley yeah, and get 40 sites. more over there so <laughs> uh, it's just a really neat place to be if you're into that but so all right so you okay. talked about the restaurants yeah. what would you rank restaurants here in the charlottesville area i think i would probably give it a five a five it does have a lot of diverse dining it here does. and it has several choices for you to to choose from so yeah. Yeah, I would give it a five. I would agree with you. And and uh, so that's ding, ding, ding. That's one of the good things of Charlotte. We always, so we always say at the beginning of our videos, if you want to know everything there is to do in the area that we're talking about, and that includes playing. So up next, recreation. Woo so woo -hoo, <laughs> let's go play. All right. So public recreation in Charlottesville. How much is there? What is there to do? So did you know there are as there are 20 plus parks here in the area. Mm. And that is an incredible amount for the size of the town that it is. Those include walking trails, biking trails, and a trail system that goes around the entire city called the Ravana Trail. So you can bike it, hike it, all those things. We were on it earlier today and um, yeah. You can play in the parks too. You can go play in the parks. There's these little parks along the way. So the kids can have fun as well. So that's a that's a great system. But the ultimate hiking trail isn't really that far away. It's only about 30 minutes, and that is the Appalachian Trail. It's the Appalachian Trail. Appalachian. It's Appalachian. <laughs> so it's only 30 minutes away. So if you are an avid hiker and you want to go on that trail, it's only about 30 minutes from Charlottesville. There are two ski resorts, and we've talked about those in our prior videos. They are Massanutten as well as Wintergreen. They're about an hour away. And the additional activities are? Well, golf, right? <laughs> Another activity. Of course, there's other, there's plenty of other activities around here. There's kayaking and canoeing as well. Yes. You know, you got the Ravenna River, the James River nearby. you got other rivers. So you got plenty of opportunities for canoeing and kayaking and outdoor things like that. Yeah. But golf. Got to talk about golf because I love golf, right? Uh, there's multiple, no, he's obsessed. I'm obsessed. So that's what she says. So, um, But we have, I mean, she may be right. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> we have multiple golf courses around here. And some of them are actually some of the top golf courses in the country. I talk more about that in the map video so if you want to know more about the golf yes. courses here in the Trostville area take a look at that video we'll tell you a lot more about them so Leslie recreation yeah. what are you going to give recreate recreation you know for the size of the town that mm -hmm. it is I'd give it a five yeah. really there is an abundance of them yeah, I agree with you. I, I think it's one of the great things about Charlottesville is the parks and everything it has yeah. around so. public swimming areas yeah. and good all call on things. that one yeah. I agree hey Stefan hey what what's up next well, we got done talking about restaurants, and you may be hungry. I know. It's dinner time, and but he's I, making me do this. But I guess most of the time you got to have a job to go out to a restaurant, right? Usually it helps. So what's the lead in there? Let's talk about employment and job right. opportunities. Well, there are a lot of opportunities for employment here in Charlottesville, and Charlottesville is also a very friendly work-from-home city as well. And you can see some of the some of the employers that are here and near the Charlottesville area, and the Charlottesville job market is very strong. As a matter of fact, you can see that in June of this year, the unemployment rate in Charlottesville was only 2.6% compared to the national average in June of 3.6%. And um, so a lot of employers in there are, are here in the area, and there are some good, very well, good-paying jobs here as well. And 
if there was a negative about the job market, it'd probably be that some of the jobs, of course, but it's like anywhere though, right? Some of them require a specialized degree or a certain type of experience. Licensure, in order to, yeah, certificate, <laughs> exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In order to get one of those higher paying mm -hmm. jobs. And of course, in the way that the job market is today, there's a lot of competition uh, for those jobs in the right. job market. So um, you, you might have that be up against that competition looking for a job. But if you are the person that wins that interview process, then uh, you're likely to get into a very good uh, liquid uh, position here in the Charlottesville area. So what do you think you would rank the jobs market? Oh, yeah. Got to rank it. I would say I would definitely think it's a good thing about Charlottesville. There's okay. a lot of employment here. I'd give it a four. Give it a four? Uh, yeah. Five I mean, again, it's a small town. I mean, 47,000 people. But so it's not like you have uh, like a huge, huge. city. But, okay. but there's still a lot of job opportunities around the area here. Yeah. And um, so I, I'd give it a four. Okay. All right. So we've already given three pros, but uh, there are some cons. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. So, and uh, I would say one of the biggest cons, probably, if not one of the biggest, certainly, I think the biggest con okay. about living in Charlottesville is the cost of living, okay. especially when it concerns housing. It, I mean, look here at the, the, the screenshot as I have here, and you can see that in Lynchburg, just an hour down the road, that it's uh, it's 13.5% higher to live here in Charlottesville from a cost of living perspective. But look at the housing, 38% higher to live here in Charlottesville than it is to live in Lynchburg, wow. just an hour down the road. Yeah. Also, look even in Richmond, about an hour down the road yeah. in Central Virginia. And it's even Richmond is, it's 6.1% less to live in Richmond than it is to live here. And the housing, which kind of surprised me too, is 21% higher here in okay. Charlottesville than it is in Richmond. And so now if you're coming from an area like Sacramento, California, for example, okay. then you're going to love Charlottesville because as you can <laughs> see, it's much less expensive and the housing is much less expensive we as well. We had some buyers come this direction from California. We've had, yeah, we've had several people call us. Yeah. currently working with some buyers from California and they're like, oh, we can get so much more house for the money. It, it, and it's true, you know, and, and so uh, if you're moving from one of those areas, you're definitely going to get a lot more house here yeah. than, than you probably have elsewhere. But yeah. like I say, the cost of living and just talking specifically about the cost of the living, you can see here that the median price of a home sold within the last year is $465,000. But look at that average, 554. So yeah. <laughs> we're seeing a a lot of homes too then uh, that are selling in the lower price range but that average is way up there too so yeah. there are some homes here and you're going to find homes up in the millions of dollars and you down are. into the 200,000 as well but uh, for the most part like I say you're around a half million dollars for a basic home here in the Charlottesville area that breaks down about $266 a square foot and and here's another snapshot here just some of the other neighborhoods here and how much uh, homes are on average or on the median price in each one of those neighborhoods. So kind of give you an idea, just some of the neighborhoods in Charlottesville and the cost of housing here in the area. And that really is a deterrent to some people it is. here in the area. Uh, but if you like uh, the, the town and slash city type living like this and you want all the amenities that comes with it, you're going to yeah. love Charlottesville because there's just so much to do down here. There is, there is. So what so, would you rank it? I would rank it. I would say cost of a living, and I'm, I'm saying this compared to the other areas that are around it, right? Okay. I give it a one. Really? I think it's the ugly thing about Charlottesville Ooh. is that it's so much more expensive. Now, I could make an argument for it, too, because like we said, you move from other parts of the country, and it is cheaper, so it's not 1. the 5? most. Yeah, yeah <laughs> but yeah. I'm trying. I'm trying. I said it was the thing that bothered me the most. It is. So I'm going to give it a one. I get it. <laughs> and so okay. if you disagree with me, tell me you disagree with yeah. me. But uh, yeah. I'd be happy to hear that. Just be nice because I'm nice to you. <laughs> so. All right. So we've talked about recreation. We've talked about shopping, restaurants, things like that. But what What's about next? What about arts and culture? What about things to do when it comes Ooh. to arts and culture? If you want to go watch a play or Ooh. you want to go to a concert, something like that. All right. How does Charlottesville stack up there? Well, how do we rank? One of the things about it is there is a multitude of theaters throughout the Charlottesville here area here. As a matter of fact, we're right here in downtown at the downtown um, mall here. And 
it, it is there's Paramount. the Paramount Theater. There's the Ting Pavilion up the way uh, on the campus of UVA. You've got yeah. the John Paul Jones Arena where the uh, UVA Cavaliers uh, play basketball, and but they host other concerts and comedians major and all events. sorts of major events here in the city of Charlottesville. So that's a really neat thing but there's also the virginia film festival and okay well it's a film festival no it's, it's, you wouldn't it, think it was a big thing. it is a huge thing here and you're going to find uh i mean stars that names that you recognize yeah. that come to this film festival uh every year and participate in that film festival and so that's a really big thing in here in charlottesville as well what's if the you, names if, of those festivals if you want a local festival yeah. you got to go to the mop and town film festival okay. and that'll give you a little bit more local flair in films but okay. there's also uh the virginia festival of books I know how much you like books. Ooh, I don't have time to read as much as I used to, but yes, the um, they have this book festival here in Charlottesville. It's the Virginia Festival of the Books, and it brings together writers and illustrators. And every year in March, they do celebrate literature at that festival. Yeah, and there's arts and crafts festivals and okay. farmers markets all over town and in the towns around and there's a lot of museums here as well okay okay so let's talk about how many museums well there's i don't know i don't know if i can count them all up right all, now but, but you got the frailin art museum you got the virginia discovery museum which is for for, for children you know a great exploratory place you've got the ix uh art park uh, you've got the Lewis and Clark Exploratory Center, and that's kind of yeah. interesting because you think of Lewis and Clark as being the Missouri River and West, Missouri. but there's a tie to Meriwether Lewis and William Clark here in Charlottesville, and you can go to the center and you can learn what that tie is here in Char Charlottesville, and hence why they have the Lewis and Clark Museum. How cool. Oh, cool. So, so what's, uh, are we missing any big city museums around here? But it's got this You might be missing it. That's why I'd probably give it a four. Okay. Just because, I mean, you're not going to have a zoo here. Okay. A, a big zoo like the National Zoo or right. something like that. There's not. You know, and, and so, but I mean, for the town that it is, it's fantastic. It really it, is. It's a great thing here. Yeah, uh, it is. But I'm going to give it a four if you put okay. it on the national scale. I think okay. it's I think it's fantastic. Right. Beep, beep. Honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> I got him laughing. I'm so embarrassed. We're going to talk about traffic. So what is the traffic like here in Charlottesville? It's not like the big city traffic like you would get in a major city like San Francisco, let's say, or even Richmond, but it can be heavy. And we're not going to talk to this man about Charlottesville traffic. What? So the major corridors and the major arteries of driving around here are about our Highway 29 and two, Highway 250. Yeah, just try and to get off 250 on the 29 in the middle of the afternoon <laughs> at rush hour. Sometimes oh, sorry. they can be a little backed up. We're not going to get started about traffic <laughs> at all. But, you know, there are pockets. There are pockets of congested areas here in Charlottesville. So that's going to be a con, so, right? Well, it's kind of in the middle. I'm going to give it a three. Uh, you're easing out, aren't you? I know. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're probably right, though, because, I mean, we used to live in northern Virginia and oh, yeah, traffic yeah. up there. It's more like a parking lot sometimes yeah. than it is a, an I'm interstate. 95. So mm. it's not like that. It's not anything like that. No. But but there, it just there sometimes it just aggravate. gets congested and it's just a little <laughs> aggravating sometimes, you know. So so I guess a three. So I guess it's kind of in the middle. All right. Ready to go to school? <laughs> as long as I don't go beep beep and honk honk on my way there. <laughs> so, but anyway, no. Let's talk about schools and education here in the area. So, um, you know that's important if you're moving in from out of the area, or even if you're just moving that across is town. That's one of the big questions that yeah, we get asked. It is, and 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 you're just changing school districts by moving yeah. across town. It's. Sure. It's, uh, it's important to know if you have children where they're going to go to school. Well, Charlottesville High School and the Charlottesville School District are very, very uh, well ranked here. According to Niche.com, the Charlottesville School District is ranked 13th in the state of Virginia out of 132 districts. Yeah, so, so you're it's, it's well. Yeah, yeah. it is. It, it ranks very well. And if you're not in the city and you're out in the county where the Albemarle uh, County School District is, it's actually ranked 11th. In the Albemarle, Albemarle County School District, and so, yes, the <laughs> so, so like I say, you have um, uh, some good schools here in the area, public schools, and of course, there's a host of private schools 
here in the area as well if you're interested yeah. in putting your child in a private school. Yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, um, it even goes up to the college level as well. Of course, you got UVA, you have other colleges here as well. But right. uh, you can see here, uh, according to um, uh, U.S. News and World Report, did a ranking. They are, uh, they are, UVA is ranked as the third best among public universities in the United States. That's great. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, and there's some other right rankings here. There. Yeah, and you know, it's fairly affordable too. I mean, okay. the college education is not cheap anymore, let's face I know. it. But I mean, we put it, free in. Yeah, <laughs> we're glad they're out. Yeah. And, um, and, but if, you know, I mean, $21,000 a year, $22,000 a year for in state it is, is affordable in today's, uh, on today's, today's score. Yeah. Yeah. Today's Ranking. Cost, but still a lot of money, but it's at least a little more affordable, affordable. And of course, uh, there are theater activities and, and, and sporting activities and major college events that take place here. And so when it comes to education, it's very well rounded here yeah. in the Charlottesville area. And so I would say that <clears throat> because of its it? ranking, it's in the top of Virginia. I would and put it up there. You got to give it a five, I think. Yeah. Here in Charlottesville, I think yeah. it is. It is definitely top notch. I'm. There may be others that disagree. I'm sure there's always a variance there of opinions. Are. Uh, but according to what people say here from Niche.com, it's one of the best districts in uh, the and, entire and state of Virginia. U.S. News and World Report for UVA. Yeah, for UVA so, yeah. exactly. Okay. Let's take a step back in time, okay? <laughs> Charlottesville is full of a lot of historical mm. places, people, and events. So let's talk, let's break it down. It is the cradle of Civil War history here in the area. The third president of the United States, Thomas Jefferson, his home, Monticello, is located just south of town. The fifth president of the United States, James Monroe's Highland Estates, um, it's only about eight minutes away. It's not very far at all. Let's also talk about the fourth president. He lives a little bit, he lived a little bit further away, actually, and his home was called is called Mount Pillar. Mount Pillar, sorry. And it's only about 45 minutes up the road in Orange County. So some cool things here in the area. In addition to that, not very far away actually at all is the Appomattox Courthouse. We've had the um, fun of being there and that is where Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant to end the Civil War. And you can go in it and around it and actually walk on the road in front of the, the Appomattox Courthouse. It's really not a courthouse. That's actually the <laughs> name of the town. And uh, you can see it and so many historical things to take a look at there. Yeah, and going back to education, I mean, yes. you know, when you take a field trip with your kids here, or back to our old school teacher days, okay. you experience history. You are on the yes. same grounds as it was on. It's, it's so cool, you know, that rope. Yeah, yeah, it's but really neat. So, so, so what do you give it, them. Leslie? What do you give history? I'm going to give Virginia, <laughs> I'm going to give this area of Virginia a five, especially. No it's doubt. just the cradle of all of a lot of history. Oh, the beauty of it all. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, okay. He's such a <laughs> dork. All right. No, I'm talking about Virginia's Piedmont region here in the Charlottesville area at the foot of the Blue Hill Mount, Blue Hill Mountains, <laughs> Blue Ridge Mountains. I do know where I live. So here in the Blue Ridge Mountains, in the, where Charlottesville is, it is an amazing place. So let's talk about some of the beautiful things that you're going to see when you live here. There are so many streams and so many rivers and the country roads that you can go on and get lost on. Don't get lost. But um, unless you get found. <laughs> <laughs> Squirrel. But anyway, yeah. no, it is an amazing place to live. It's just so beautiful here. There are barns and farms and horse farms out near the Keswick area. You're going to see these beautiful sprawling farms. You're going to see sheep and it's pretty pastoral and it is just an amazing, beautiful place. You're going to see vineyards and, you know, fields of grapevines and it's just, it's an amazing place to live. But wait until the fall of the year and mm -hmm. we love to go driving around the area and it is just so gorgeous. So if you are interested in coming to Charlottesville, come here in the next couple of months and you are going to have an amazing view. And so all, with all the horses and streams and barns and changing colors, I guess you're going to give this a five. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> I'm going to give is, it a five. It's beautiful. It really, truly is. And it is. So...
especially in the fall. But every season is unique. It is unique. I call it the ever-changing landscape. It is just beautiful all year round, but it's just kind of putting on the show in the fall. No doubt. You want to come fly with me? I guess so. I've been doing it for 37 years. Oh, <laughs> such a... <laughs> anyway, the Charlottesville area is known for its Charlottesville Albemarle Airport. It has American, Delta, United, and now Avello that has, runs the service there in the airport. And you know what? It's really not that much more expensive to run mm. out of Charlottesville Airport than it is the major airports that we're going to talk about in a second. Mm -hmm. So something to think about. It's only going to take you, if you don't want to go out of Charlottesville and none of those airlines are meeting your needs, go an hour and 15 minutes roughly to uh, Richmond International. They have Southwest and JetBlue. Mm -hmm. um, two and a half hours, maybe two, two hours and 15 minutes to Dulles or Reagan in Washington, D.C. They have all the major airlines. So if you're looking for all the major airlines, go up there. And um, it's crazy up there. It's very congested. But hey, it doesn't cost much more to fly out of the Charlottesville Airport. And you're going to be happier because it's not going to take you very long to get through uh, the TSA lines. Just so getting in and out of the airport. Getting in and out of the airport <laughs> in and of itself is less traffic and it's a breeze, a breeze. to get in and out of. So, yeah, check so, out the airport. So what do you give it? Come fly with me. Go out yeah. on a wing here. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> a four. Go I give it a four because I it agree. doesn't have all the major airlines and everything that some people may want. But you know what? I give it a four. Yeah, but for a small town, having something like oh, that where you can great. hop out of here, that's great. It is. All right. So okay. we've come down to the last point, and it's a question that Leslie and I often get asked. And it's kind of one of those questions that is a little bit hard to answer, okay? But that is, what is crime like here in Charlottesville, Virginia? And depending upon who you talk to, you may get varying answers you do. Uh, as a matter of fact you can look here and a google search of crime in charlottesville says that charlottesville is one of the highest crime cities in all of america oh wow that oh, sounds like wow. i don't want to move there at all right and then you look up at another one here and it says charlottesville crime rate is actually lower the violent crime rate is lower than the national average yeah. and, and the property crime rate is just a little bit higher and then look at this one. I pulled this one up. Look what this particular website said. Okay. It says Charlottesville, Virginia's capital, is among the most violent. Uh, Virginia's capital. What? Virginia's capital. Uh, so, what do you trust? Yeah. You know, and 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 how do you really measure it? And it's it really is difficult to measure as well because are we measuring over the last 10 years are we measuring the last two years yeah. or three years are we measuring this Where's year that data the last from? six months and that's the thing with data and having been a former school teacher you can make data pretty much say whatever you want to say yep. um <clears throat> so uh, here are some different statistics that i've seen that are pretty common and you see here in the next slide charlottesville statistics for crime in 2022 you can see where it was a little bit below the national average now at the same time here you've got a cbs news story that says that crime was up in 2022 so here we are again with those with those numbers right and so um but if you look at um if you look at charlottesville um I think you're going to find that the numbers, depending on which ones you use, yeah. they, they can say pretty much anything about Charlottesville. Um, but if you look here at this particular website, it says it's about average with the rest of the United States. Now, I got to say that in researching to, to look at this, I did quite a bit of research on it because I want to give a fair estimation right. of it. It's very important. And I mean, you don't want to live in a, in a, a, no. a, a, a neighborhood no. crime, a neighborhood of crime. And so, but if you look at this slide here, you see the history of Charlottesville. And what I see about that is that overall, while there still may be issues in Charlottesville, the crime in Charlottesville has gotten a lot better uh, over the years. And so, uh, okay, so that's what the stats say. What do, what do the people here in Charlottesville think about, about crime? So go to niche.com. That's people that are we living here. We use that a lot. Yeah, that's here in the solution. Charlottesville area. It's what yeah. they say about, uh, about Charlottesville. And you see here that it gets a C ranking, which is one of the lowest rankings. And so 
So let's break it down a little bit more. What do the people of Charlottesville say? Well, you can see here on this slide that either about 67% of the people felt that they were pretty safe or very safe here in Charlottesville. There was another 23%, or excuse me, 13% that said they felt somewhat safe. And then there was only 10% that they said they didn't feel safe at all. So uh, now let me ask you, if you go into a large town or a large city, you probably feel like, that may be how you feel depending upon where you are in the city, maybe even what time of day it is. And so, um, so like I say, 67% of the people here in Charlottesville think that it's a fine place to live and only 10 people consistently feel that they're unsafe here in the area. If you're more interested in more about that, a couple of websites, yeah. I, or websites I would, I would in, encourage you to go to because it's local here is the charlottesville.gov website. They have a police website where it breaks mm -hmm. down the crimes and can show you where they take place. And the Charlottesville website goes, can go, you can go back six months and you can look at crimes that were committed here in the area. But like I say, I would say this, when I was doing the overall research, I would say that I definitely can't give Charlottesville a five or a four. And, and really, it, it because the residents of Charlottesville give it a C, it's one of the things they are concerned about. And a lot of the research that I did do on it, it seems like it maybe was a little bit below the national average. So for that reason, I have to give it a two, okay? And I don't. it's not a terrible place. I mean, we've been sitting here the, the whole night, right. you know, talking here in the downtown mall. And uh, we go around Charlottesville all the time. And I never, yeah. I never we feel go unsafe. Neighborhoods and we walk around them. And yeah, I never feel unsafe here in Charlottesville. That's my personal feeling, you know. Right. Uh, is there a crime in Charlottesville? Is there a crime in any town? Everywhere. You know, <laughs> there is, you know. But of course, um, I feel safe in Charlottesville. But I'm going to give it that ranking because you know what? Maybe we can do better here in Charlottesville as well. And uh, hopefully we will. And hopefully we see that improve. So that the next time we have this conversation, it's like Charlottesville is a four or five, but. So anyway, uh, that's a long explanation. Check out those websites. Yeah, check them out. When I do more research. Yeah, that's a long explanation. Me personally, would it prohibit me from moving to the Charlottesville area? Not in the least. No. Not in the least at all. But, but like I say, you know. Um, that is your personal. And that's the other thing I would say. Come to the area. If you're not, if you don't live in the area, you got to feel the area. Drive through its neighborhoods. You know, in a lot of our videos, I take you through some of the neighborhoods and show them to you. So you kind of get an idea there. But also, there's nothing like being here and experiencing and Absolutely. feeling it. If you're local here in the area, you probably know a lot about the areas and the neighborhoods. And so I would encourage you as well. Yeah. Maybe some of you can weigh in, on the weigh, in on, weigh in on the comments down below and Tell us what you think, and you know, and and uh, I'd be interested to hear what some of the residents that yeah. maybe didn't go on niche.com think about as well. Yeah. So, anyway, that being said, All I know right. that's one of my favorite sayings. With that being said, <laughs> that <has> been brought <laughs> yes, it has. But we um, we hope you've enjoyed this video, the pros and cons. Overall, I think Charlottesville is a great place to live in. Uh, yes, it has some, some hindrances to it that are cons, but overall you've got some great things here in the town as well. So if you're looking to sell a home here in the area, or you're looking to purchase a home here in the area, pick up the phone and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. You can even Zoom call with us. We love doing that, absolutely. seeing people face to face. And uh, we would be absolutely happy to help you sell your home or to find a home here in the Charlottesville area. Yep. But I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a little hungry. It's you, time, dinner time. It's dinner time. So we're going to go ahead and get some dinner. But until next time, we will see you around town. <laughs>